We're going to take a look at the booth of GrowWatch, a huge player, number one residential. Uh, we're going to look at their commercial solutions, residential solutions, and uh, everything around it, and also the smart management. Robert van Keulen from Crowbat, what do you have for the consumer and what do our installers need to tell? What do we have here is basically a complete system for the Grow Home system. The MOD three-phase inverter with the APX batteries and they have energy optimizers for each module, making it much more easier to extend at a later point in time. Basically you can add all the other uh, things to it, you know, the charger and, and how do I basically manage the whole thing? It is all managed by one device, yeah. which is the Grow Home Manager. In some countries, you have dynamic pricing. Yes, that's something we're looking into right now. We're testing basically two things. Software uh, connection to the Apex market, day ahead prices. Yeah. Based on that, send a schedule to the inverter to charge or discharge. Mm -hmm. And uh, hardware EMS uh, to control all other devices in the house. Especially in the Benelux, if you want to get an extra uh, connection, it's really hard. You have to wait a couple of years. What are the alternatives in the commercial space? It is, um, but the perfect solution is to get storage for commercial and industrial installations. Mm -hmm. And the perfect solution for that is the WIT inverter with the APX commercial batteries. Okay, so this is a 50 to 100 kilowatt uh, inverter. Does that mean that I can get 100 kilowatt out of this uh, system the moment that I need extra electricity? Yes, correct. With the 100 kilowatt inverter, yeah. with the uh, right amount of batteries, yeah. you are able to get 100 kilowatt of power. How much battery uh, can be connected to the inverter? Up to 200 kilowatt hours of uh, storage capacity and you can actually connect up to three inverters in parallel, okay. having a total amount of 600 kilowatt hours of storage battery. What do you have for my electric car? We have all kinds of EV chargers. Uh -huh. AC, the one phase, yeah. but Probably more interesting is the three-phase. This yeah. is 11 or 22, I see, that's, that's the normal one you want. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, 22 for uh, a little bit far faster yeah. charger, but if you want even faster, then you need a DC charger. 20 or 40 kilowatts. So that's for commercial, for offices which basically want to fastly uh, charge a car. Exactly. Robert, I'm a big camper lover. So I'm on, in the bushes in the middle of nowhere. What do you have for me? This is ideal for, uh, for camping. Portable power stations. It's from basically half a kilowatt up to 3.6 and everything in between. Can I charge my electric car for a while? Yes, you can. It has an AC output of 3600 watts with actually a peak performance of uh, 7200 watts. Uh -huh. Uh, so yes, if you're missing the left... You can just be in the middle of nowhere and use everything, everything you can uh, think of, and it has 3.6 kilowatts, so that's enough to basically uh, have a nice weekend. Definitely. Uh, get coffee, uh, watch television, charge your phone, yeah. you can name it and it can do it. Yeah. And then it's so, okay, I see you have solar panels, which uh, basically are easily foldable, and, you, and then this is also stackable? Yes, it is. Uh, this is the, the 2 kilowatts, and you can get expansion batteries, which you see on top. Yes, so you can extend it and in that case it's easy to get a cart for easy transportation. My camping life just got a lot better.